mirror tool. Now let's try a drawing. For that go to rectangle. Draw a rectangle now. Now I am going to draw a circle also using the center point and another one circle also. Now we have to specify a mirroring line. This is a mirroring line. Now go to mirror tool. This is the mirror tool. And now we have to select objects which we are going to mirror. I am going to select this whole drawing and press enter. Now AutoCAD is asking to specify first point of mirror line. First point is here and the second point is here. In this way you can mirror your drawing. But this mirroring line is not always necessary. You can even make mirrors without the mirroring line. Now let's see how to mirror a drawing without using mirroring line. So I am going to mirror tool. We, now we have to select the object. I am going to select this one and this one and finally this one. Press enter. Now we have to specify first point of mirror line. Consider this is my first point. Second point. Now see without a mirroring line we have mirrored our drawing. So this is how we have to use the mirror tool. The shortcut command for this mirror tool is we have to type MI. This is the shortcut command for mirror tool. Now let's see about trim tool. For that we can make some intersecting lines. Here we have made some intersecting lines. Now let's see how to use that trim tool. For example if you want to trim this part of the line or this part. You can use this trim tool or you can use the shortcut command of trim tool is TR. Type TR in the command box and press enter. This is a step which you are most likely to forget. So in this case select trim tool and then press enter. Don't forget to press enter key right after selecting the trim tool. Now click on the part of the drawing that you want to trim. I'll click on this line and look at this it will trim it up to the next boundary. If I click here it will trim it up to the next boundary. So using trim tool you can trim the objects up to next available boundaries like this. Now let's see about offset tool. For that I'll make a rectangle now and here as a rectangle now we are going to offset this rectangle for that go to offset tool now AutoCAD is asking to specify offset distance I am going to give offset distance as 1 feet and press enter now we have to select object to offset now I will select this boundary and move it outwards if I click inside it will make an offset copy just inside if I move outside it will make an offset copy outside just like this. In this way you can use the offset tool. Now let's see about fillet command. The shortcut command to use fillet is fillet only. F I L L E T. Press enter or you can go and click here also. This is the fillet command. Click this. Using fillet tool you can make the corner of any short drawing rounded. Now let's see how to do it. Select this fillet tool. Specify this radius. I am going to give the radius as 25 feet and press enter. Now we have to select first object. Next second object. So this is how we can use the fillet command. Now let's talk about chamfer tool. Here we can use this rectangle to see how to use the chamfer command. The shortcut command is CHA. CHA and press enter. Select distance. I am going to give 25 feet. Press enter. Now we have to specify second chamfer distance. 25 feet. Press enter. Now we have to select first line. Next second line. 
this is the difference between this fillet command and chamfer command here the corner of the point is bended and here it has made like a slanting line now let's talk about the object snap here in the status bar this is the object snap the shortcut key for object snap is f3 function key which is a really important one and without using object snap you won't be able to make precise drawings for example if i want to draw a line in this midpoint if i bring cursor near to this point it shows exactly where is the midpoint in this rectangle so i could easily draw a straight line here similarly if i want to draw a circle the cursor will shows you where is the midpoint and i could easily draw my circle in this way the object snap is very helpful to you you will see this list of points and from the list we have end point midpoint center intersection extension insertion tangent and so on if you want to select only particular things then go to object snap settings and here you can uncheck or you can check anything as per your wish so currently only these points will show up when you bring your cursor close to any point if you like this video kindly subscribe civil engineering shairus updates click this bell icon and also click on so that my uploads will directly come in your notification box share this video to everyone and do support civil engineering shairus updates if you want free pdf of engineer quotation for house construction kindly check the procedure given in description box and also if you have any doubt you can comment below in the comment box you can mail me my mail id is shinosupdates@gmail.com thank you